Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we'll be checking out this cool website uh, that I've made in Adobe XD and I've deployed using a cool tool called Quest and it, it has integration with Adobe and you can easily export any design, uh, animate it and export it as a proper running website on a server. This will take less than 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's just get started with the video. Um, as you can see, I've already set up a basic website with basic elements. Um, I won't be doing the complete design here. Uh, just know that this background and everything is custom made. Uh, these images I've taken off the internet and uh, all you need to do is make sure that all the elements that you want in your website, whether visible or invisible, need to be on the site. So the menu with the closing icon and everything I've put on the uh, put on the page here or on the artboard here. And once you have a design like this, where you have the menu, where you have uh, all the elements which need to be animated as well. All you need to do is select the artboards that need to be exported. Go to Quest AI. Once you're in Quest AI, uh, you'll be asked to either create a new project, which I will be doing right now. Uh, you'll be asked whether this is a website or a mobile game. Yes, you can do that as well. But for this tutorial, it's just a single website. I'll just name it uh, XD Tutorial. Yeah, and I will um, and I can select other, I can see other options as well from here, but for now I'll just say export. Now, as you can see, there is a little processing uh, window here. And uh, as you can see, there are a lot of other settings as SEO, things like SEO and um, music, sounds, other things can be added in Quest uh, while you're making the website. Uh, within a few seconds, maybe 30 to 40 seconds, this should be done. Once it's done, you'll get this option of export successful. You can either view in Quest or close it. We're gonna go to Chrome as I find it works best on Chrome, but you can run it on any browser that you want. And here we have this XD tutorial. We'll open it. It loads the project in this window. As you can see, I have my project here. My website is up and running here. Uh, now I need to animate some of these things and to change the state of some of these things. So what I'll do is I'll select, just like in XD, I can select any element here. And on the right is the properties window where I can change the properties of the selected item. And from here where 100% is there, I'll just double click and I'll say zero to actually make this completely uh, invisible. So 100 to zero for all these elements. Once all the options, the close menu, as well as the white background is invisible, uh, you can now see and work this website. But now the question is, I want to animate those things to come in to play just like we did in on my phone. Well, for that, what we need to do is add a timeline here. As you can see, there's this add icon here and I'll click on it and a new timeline gets added. I can rename this to anything. I'll say menu underscore open. I'll say menu underscore open. Once this is done, I'll say add action. And you can add as many actions as you want here. To begin with, I don't want anything else to do with these uh, options. I just want tween to be activated. Uh, out of the elements, I'll choose all the elements that are necessary for me. For example, this home underscore one is actually the uh, home option that we had here. And I'll change and make sure that this is set to relative uh, in this case. So I'll say minus 100 per I'll say plus 100 percent. Uh, what this will do is make sure that my the opacity increases by a hundred percent and the y-axis I'll change a little bit I'll say plus 20 what this will do is push the options down a little bit so it'll animate on the y-axis as well 
and that's about it. That's all we need to do. One last thing is to change the duration just like we do in XD. So I'll say 0.3 seconds. I think this should be fine enough. And uh, that was it for the home. Now all we need to do is to do the same thing over again for about and all the other elements that we need to animate. And just like we did 100%, here and plus 20 on the y axis you can change this experiment as you wish for for now i'm go just going to fast forward this video so that we can see the final result as well Now that I've set all the timelines for all the options that we had for the menu, all I need to do is click on this white rectangle here, which is the menu. And um, on the right here, I'll have an option called add component. I'll say add component. And I want to add this as a button. This will act as a button, which will open our menu. Now, if I go to click, timeline i can either either allow this to do it on click but for mobile i want to activate this on mouse over so if i say mouse over i want to say menu open and you can create another timeline from this plus icon if i click on this plus icon i, I can name this menu close and you can do all the same actions but in the reverse order so just minus 100 a percent opacity on all the items but for not right now i'll just say menu open mouse over and uh and that is about it so that was it was that easy to animate something here and add action to a button in the website now i'll just click on the save button it starts saying your project is saving it might take a second or two the first time but once it's done you can then say build and it will actually deploy this as a website. Now, if you get an error like this, menu close actions, at least one action is required for a timeline. Well, you can, uh, you know, can either delete the timeline or change whatever they tell you from here. So all the errors come up here as well. Now let's go up and build this. Your project is building now. That is, that is exactly what it's doing. Now that the project is done, I can either say view now or just say OK to exit. And I can either preview the website here or you can share share with anybody, anyone the link to this project or website. And I'll open it in another uh, window here. OK, as you can see, the website is now completely ready and it's ready to go. It loads all these elements with lazy load. And uh, whenever I hover my or press on the mobile, it will display all the elements just as so. Now, if you go back to the phone, uh, as you can see, whenever I press the button here, it will open the menu. And whenever I press outside the button anywhere, it will close the menu since we had, uh, since we had mouse over activated. Wasn't that super simple? Yes, of course it is. You can you, you also have other settings like page title, page description, Google Analytics, and so much more that you need on a website. If you get their premium features, you can even have your own custom domain on this website. And that is, and that is just one of the few features that this website has. And um, this is not a paid promotion. They just reached out to me and I use their tool and I'm, and I'm seriously impressed. So I'll have all the links in the description. I hope you like this video. Keep on watching, keep on liking, and I'll see you guys in the next video every Monday and Thursday. God bless.